I like to start by saying, imagine if you will, this property was an industrial wasteland about four years ago. We've spent the past couple of years bringing the property back to life. Green Street Academy, a Baltimore charter school with a focus on sustainability, is actually located on North Hilton Street. But take a look around the campus and you might start to understand the name. We have a native plant nursery with a shade structure behind the hoop house we built that last summer. All of our trees were planted within the past three years. We get a lot of apples off of them. An oasis in the middle of the city, this schoolyard farm plays an important role in Green Street's unique ag education program, one of several career tech tracks available to students here. We are growing kale. So far, I'm just digging a hose to set the plants up straight. Basically, we plant these almost every day. We give them good care, water, fertilizer. And participants in the program don't just plant and harvest. They've also helped farm manager Eric Oberlechner design and build a lot of the infrastructure. Everything from the hoop house to the hydroponic shipping container, all in the name of learning by doing. And I think that farm work and running a farm for the students in a career tech platform allows for them to learn a lot of different skills. Because running a farm, you're not only, you know, a farmer, you're a plant scientist, you're a general laborer, you learn electrical work, we've wired up a windmill to generate power for the barn. They built everything that you see around us except for the new chicken coop and the, the barn itself. But right now, it's July. School is out of session. And until September, these rising juniors aren't students. They're interns. For our internship program that we have at the school, they come out, we do all the normal farm chores. So they're being paid to work on the farm. And to do the important job of keeping things up and running during the summer. After all, someone has to feed the chickens. Today, the interns have a little, uh, help. That's so cute. Is that a boy? Might be a hen. It's a girl, I can tell. It's a girl? Mm -hmm. I can From tell. From a group a of local elementary school students. It's an opportunity for these teens to act as mentors and share what they've learned with their community. Yeah. Just make sure y'all remember where you plan them at, so you don't plan them the same one. I think the mission of the school focusing on sustainability is so that it will bleed off the school property and into the community. One example, spreading healthy eating habits. Every seed that you're planting is going to grow into something that you can eat. So what's everybody's favorite vegetable? We are in a food desert, so there's a lot of corner stores. There are some options for fresh produce, but I think a big part is also encouraging them to choose that option. Luckily, there's nothing like growing something yourself to work up an appetite. It's good. I always, you know, joke, but it's true. Most of our food doesn't make it off the farm before it gets eaten. And even less makes it off campus, especially once school is in session. These are eggs from our farm. We have chickens that lay them, and what we're going to do is make breakfast sandwiches with them and sell them to our staff here at Digital Academy. Part of a fundraiser for the ag program, adding cooking and entrepreneurship to the list of skills learned on the farm. So we're looking at commodities. Commodities are in what phase of agriculture? For Eric and ag teacher Cole Bishop, one of the biggest challenges during the school year is creating opportunities for hands-on learning, even when temperatures start to drop. A lot of it takes place, you know, during the winter time, so our students are inside. We had to figure out a way to farm inside. That meant getting creative with projects like an indoor fish farm and vertical growing. We have a hydroponic fitted shipping container that the students and I kind of rehabbed we do food computers, which are tabletop hydroponic systems. The students actually code small computer systems to like turn the lights on and off and regulate the temperature and track nutrients. We have a aquaculture lab, which is just fish. We raise tilapia and yellow perch. Here, students work on their math skills, weighing and measuring fish, 
and monitoring their growth leading up to an end of the year fish fry. Working with that many students who want to be hands on can get a little messy sometimes. But it's all part of the learning process. We call it a you know, technology and innovation center. Innovation being the part of it's like allowing for failure. We screw up too. They're allowed to screw up and figure out why and make adjustments, and that's the innovation part that we always talk about. In the end, Green Street's focus on sustainability isn't just about aquaculture or solar panels or vertical farming. It's foremost about the students themselves. When people think about sustainability, they go, oh, planting a tree or recycling or wastewater, stream cleanups. All of that is really important, but also sustainable human beings for the roles that all of those other sustainable practices open up. And I think a big part of what we can provide is the students with the stewardship skills to go into their community and make it what they and their neighbors want it to be.